Good morning, biscuits. If you notice, oh, this is a weird camera that I'm shooting with. I'm shooting on my phone. I have gotten locked out of being able to upload to YouTube and check my email. Um, I don't know why. I, somebody must have tried to hack my account and they locked it down and they just won't let me recover it. So while I'm waiting on that, I thought since I can upload from my phone, I will do that. I will say hi and I will shoot an entire daily vlog on my phone, which I've never attempted to do. I have no idea how this will turn out, but I want to give it a try because I have a bunch of vlogs that I have shot for you and I cannot yet upload them. So I'm just waiting. I just have to give it time, I think, for the whole mail system to reboot, but what you gonna do? So for now, I am, I thought I'd film today because I woke up feeling fabulous. You know, um, some days you wake up and you're just feeling really good. Today, I woke up, it is sunny out, and I feel like yesterday I actually got some time to just let ideas gestate in my head, think about some work projects that I'm really excited about, and give my brain some space instead of just marking tasks off, right? It's really easy for me to just check, 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 have to do all this stuff, but I think I got some good thinking done yesterday and I'm just really happy. So let's get started on some breakfast. I'm gonna watch some YouTube vlogs, not mine, other people's, um, while we eat and I think Abraham's gonna play, play, play. We want to maybe go to the beach today or go outside and play. It is in no way warm, it is gold, but it's sunny and it's been rainy for days, so it'll be kind of nice to get out and breathe some fresh air, even though it is really getting into, it's starting to be that pollen season. I'm taking my allergy meds, I'm being good, but I can tell as I wake up. Um, oh, it's starting to be, I need to cut the, I need to mow the lawn, which I might do today since it's nice weather and I kind of want to just get outside and breathe. Um, so I'm, I'm excited for today. I hope you're excited for today. It feels lovely to exist right now. Um, I know that over the week, weekend, there's been a lot of coronavirus stuff in the news that has been freaking a ton of people out. And we are right in that area. So it definitely, you know, crosses my mind. And I'm trying to remind myself that, you know what, you have to live your life and be cautious and smart when you're having the idea of epidemics maybe starting, maybe not. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta take care of your life and live it and you can't just hide inside because that's not good for your body, right? Exercise, eating good food, keeping your immune system as healthy as you can is kind of what you can do. I post a little bit about our routine <clears throat> for what we do just sensibly day to day with this going around um, up on Instagram. But let's eat, let's have a beautiful, wonderful, almost, it's getting, it's getting closer to spring. I'll take that. Oh, I finally bought some more raspberry jam. Oh yeah. Hey Biscuits, this is so weird um, shooting on my phone, but I think this will be a fun experiment to do while I wait for them to verify my account so I can get back in. Ooh. So I fried these up with garlic and salt and pepper because we're doing a ton of garlic and ginger for our immune system. Mm, that's good. A little bit more savory than I normally make fried eggs. But not bad. Yeah, I like this. It's the spot for a morning brekkie. Ah. Mmm. I don't know about you, but my favorite is always the crispy little white egg part. Mm, yum. For all you parents that are, you know, struggling with like the baby or the toddler years, Today is one of those days where I really appreciate it. And Abraham has been like this lately, especially since I've kind of gotten better from being sick. He is playing in his room, he's being good, he's having a great time, he's bringing me his projects that we'll be playing on, he's letting me do some research that I have to do for work. And if you had asked me this like three years ago, if I thought that would ever happen, never, I'd be like, oh my God, it's never gonna get to where he can play a little distance from me and I can get some work done. That's such a nice, nice season to be in. I, I really appreciate it. And that's not true all the time, and it's for short periods of time still, where he can, you know, distract himself with entertaining and doing crafts and playing with, uh, he likes modeling clay right now. But you can see I have not cleaned up after breakfast, huh? I'll take that. But it's just it's such a nice season. So parents, there is hope. It does get to a point where I'm told, I see it in older kids, that they actually will go for like hours and let you do your work. But right now, we're at minutes, and it's so appreciated. Oh yeah. I am working on 
reaching out to some other content creators because I'm working on a new series or kind of going back to a series that I used to do with my blog where I used to interview people that I thought were doing interesting things. Um, I mainly did authors back then, but I thought it'd be fun to get back into that because this year I want to kind of, you know, spread more joy and share more of my excitement for what social media lets us do and just kind of share fun things that I find online, fun things and ideas that people are creating. And so I'm kind of reaching out to people there and seeing how that goes. Last year, I tried to do a little bit of that and I had a hard time getting people to follow through. So this year, I'm kind of focusing in on it a little bit more. I just think it would be a nice way to, you know, share and cr create things back into this social media community that I make so much content for anyway. But I like the idea of connecting with the other creators and seeing how that is. So if you are a creator and you would be interested in doing some collaborations or vlogs, email me, DM me on Instagram. Um, I'm, I'm getting intrigued by this idea, I like it. I've loved the small collaborations I've done before um, with other YouTubers, but now I thought I'd kind of branch out and see Instagram people and other writers again and kind of just get back into that because I love, I love the connection that this allows. That's my favorite part of social media and I've had my head buried so, you know, looking down, getting everything done for work that I kind of haven't reached out and connected with as many people as I would like to that this allows for. Um, so I kind of like, I like building that community, it's nice. You know, Patreon, we have a really fun, playful community and I've loved, I mean, that's part of why my head's been so down is I've really been building our Patreon community and getting that going. And that's been beautiful, but it's its own separate, fun, burlesque take on community, which is different than just kind of general content creator community online and all the fun different veins and branches that that creates out in and the great big tree of social media. So I think that'll be fun, but I'm over here. I'm actually sitting by my window because I just wanted some light. I didn't want to sit on the sofa or the bed today. I'm sitting on my yoga ball, bouncing. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Bonus uh, biscuit points. If you remember the video, it's on this channel. Um, I think I was talking about sensory processing disorder maybe. I can't remember, but I remember I had to shoot one video on sitting on my yoga ball holding Abraham because he just would not calm. And I needed to get this video shot and finally I was like, I bounced him around. Maybe I had to nurse him or something. I remember that it was just like all this craziness going on while I was just trying to film this one video and it stuck with me. So bonus biscuit points. Uh, if I was gonna say leave a comment, but you still can't, boo. I hope YouTube works that out. I would love to have my comments back. Um, they've never explained why certain family channels can have them and some can't, but I, re I remember that video and that, that intensity. Oh, ba babyhood is, is intense. As I kind of get going on, or re-going on trying for another kid this year, because um, being sick kind of put a halt to that out of necessity. Um, it's just like I'm really appreciating this season right now because when, whenever we introduce another baby into the group, it's gonna be chaos again. It'll be beautiful chaos and lovely, and wouldn't I be a lucky duck if that happened? But it definitely makes me appreciate like this short moment in time where it's a little bit calmer, just a teeny bit, a teeny bit, because Abraham's a little bit older, and I found another baby in. <laughs> but boy, it makes you, makes you appreciate. I like appreciating the seasons, you know, they all change. Oh, he's back, and he doesn't have the pants on. Bye, biscuits. So what? we're building, oh, I want to watch it, Abraham, we're building a village. We've only got one village so far uh, out of our clay. I cannot recommend children's, um, what is craft clay? I can't even remember. I'll, I can ask me and I'll post a link below in the description box for this on Amazon. Um, it's so handy and he doesn't do as naughty things with it as Play-Doh. And you keep it fresh in a bag that lasts for a really long time. Um, it has been something we discovered over Christmas and then I ordered another version of it. This one's a, not as strong as the other kind, um, but it just leads to hours of fun. I love it. I love making all this fun stuff. Can you show them that? There you go. Long house it done. So we got a really colorful, multicolored house and we have our person. Let's show them our person. It's going to live in the house. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love playing. <laughs> I feel like everywhere I look in the background, the house looks messy today, and yet I have spent so much time organizing and cleaning things. I feel like when you're not quite done with organizing, I'm like, I'm more than halfway there. It just all looks so messy, but I can't wait. I'm 
I'm gonna go out probably today and we're gonna go to the gym after we play outside and do stuff um, and go and get some more baskets like the um, the tea cabinet that we organized that I organized I think I put that up on one of the, on the daily vlogs um because I'm trying to just get everything to have its place we don't own that many things it's just that I've never put the time into making sure that everything has a place in a container we just kind of moved in tossed everything in mail just winds up on the counter or over by the front door um, and I think that we just need a couple more things to hold everything to keep it all organized so that it doesn't then just spread because I'm really working on getting the house to be a little more streamlined so that I have to spend less time finding things or losing things or trying to go why does this look so messy oh my god that's my number one tip for cleaning I love cleaning but it does not look like I've cleaned even if I spent two hours cleaning if the house is not organized and that's been a big aha moment for me is that I just need you know I need to make sure that there's storage and organization and I don't think I appreciated that as much until I got into this whole organizing Meshagoth because um, I looked around the house after this winter and I thought boy what is going on why is why is the house looking so messy I just spent hours cleaning it and it's really it's the organization um, so I'm gonna drink my tea did a nice ooh, herbaly blend that I love in here. These are one of the teas, or teas, these are one of the mugs from my merch shop. It says, are you married, are you single? Are you looking to fill positions in a harem? Because I do a lot of reverse harem romance. In case, in case you don't read my novels and you don't know what that reference is, it's a in-group pun for, um, for reverse harem books, which is ladies that have lots of husbands that love her. We can all dream, we can all dream. <laughs> don't forget, check out the merch in the link below but I'm gonna get back to playing with little dude and then we are going to so much to do and it's so nice to have days at home man the house just looks like such chaos I have to take down the birthday banner um, one of the things we're gonna fix up a lot is his crafting area which is this little part over here um, and I'm gonna get containers to hold everything so it doesn't stop spreading out all over the floor I'm gonna go through his play kitchen and sanitize that and clean it because it needs a good clean um, and going through his room and I have to do it on a day when he's in his class so I have a short little window to do that and this week he doesn't have class um, and I need to like throw out some of the toys right because we you know, give away um, although some of them are destroyed and need to be tossed because he doesn't let me do it but he has stuff that he just doesn't use like junk that other kids have given him as very sweet presents but that are literally broken things um, so I have to do that and then then I think the house will start being a little more organized and I can kind of focus in on my desk area and getting that organized. Um, because this year I have a lot of book and publishing work that I need to do and I need to have a desk space to do that particular kind of work. Um, yeah, I feel like this year is gonna be really busy and in a good way, like in a lot of growth from my work, which is wonderful and I feel really grateful for, but it's definitely made me realize, you know, I, I need to get I need to get more organized right it's really easy for me to not be organized and to be not overwhelmed but just kind of getting through the day as best I can and what I need to be is I need to be more organized you know first thing I did is I put up that calendar on the wall that's a whiteboard so I do it every month we figure out what we're doing because I was just losing track of stuff for work and for our personal lives just for you know appointments were getting forgotten about because there's just too many things all up in the air that I was juggling mentally and I've got to give my space my mind the space and my life the grace to just be like you know what organization is really important so I will film more of that let me know if you want some individual organization vlogs um, those will probably go on my second channel because that's more of my cleaning lifestyle organizing our self-help channel um, to kind of get everybody motivated versus this channel I'm gonna turn around because I hear him coming and he is refusing pants this morning which is fine we have a rule home he can go pantless if he feels like it but we're back on the vlog. <laughs> okay, more playtime.
So the load just finished on that. I just did a real quick one and then I went and tidied up other stuff while I was going. Ooh, my hair is going crazy after my headphones. So look at how sparkly that is. And then what I'm gonna do is give it a wipe down. Oh yeah. And I'll get in the crevasses between the parts of the washing machine to scrub that all through. And I try to scrub out the washing machine every so often because otherwise it just gets gunky. The front loading ones, they just have a lot of little areas that want to just be scrubbed clean so that it smells good. And that's kind of my spring cleaning binge that I'm on is getting everything super tidy and good because it got really messy there in the winter um, when I couldn't keep up with it all. And I am like rip roaring to get my house back in shape. So this is gonna be all sparkly and clean. It's gonna smell good. And I love that. Oh yeah, look at that. You can tell that I clean this out regularly because of how little gunk is in here. And if you clean out yours and you haven't cleaned it out for a while, just be okay accepting that it's gonna be a little, a little gunky. But I just think that that is so nice. To give your washing machine a little bit of love and care because you know what, it'll help you with the life on these washing machines. And they're big budget items for yeah. all of us, I can think. We, can, can we talk building in, in our town? Oh, we can start building our village. Yeah, give me one second. Let me put on the, okay. and now I'm gonna do a load of real laundry. They're and good like, to Yay. whip it a toy to town pretty much. Let me know. Not all the town. Oh, that's so cool. But, but mostly all. Careful with the scissors. Remember, we have to be responsible if we have oh, big boy scissors. One helps you think. Let me know if you would like to see a full washing machine detailed clean on my um, second channel. And I will post that up there if you want to see it. can't tell but I've organized a whole lot of that over there. Oh yeah. Okay my reward for all this house and yard work. Mm. Hot cocoa. In fact I'm gonna put this in one of my hack videos, my mama hack videos. Um, I have a whole bunch of easy snacky things for mommy and me snack time. Um, so I'm gonna share at some point if you really want to shoot that vlog. Once, once I can upload it again regularly on my camera I'll, I'll be happy to do that but oh It was hot cocoa. Yes, in no way is this my, my low sugar food, but it's okay. Once I'm out of this hot cocoa mix, which has lasted forever, I got it at Costco, um, I'm gonna make our own with the monk fruit so that it doesn't have any added sugar in it. Cause I'm really, that's my goal for spring is to really cut out on those areas of sugar and everything. Cause I think that'll, that'll be good for us. Good for my health plans for the year. Do you add sugar? What do you do with that? I'm always curious. I see Chompy over there. Hold on, there. I know he goes with Star Wars. Abraham has no idea what Star Wars is. But when I was super, super sick, Rob um, took him kindly to, for the day, and let me just lay in bed because I couldn't physically move, um, and went to the thrift store and got this little, I don't know what they're called in Star Wars, but they're the big glumpy animals, and Abraham loves them. He's named him Chompy, and it's just like his favorite thing for the last couple months. It's really sweet. Okay, I am writing a caption and then I need to check more work emails oh, and I really need to edit some vlogs, but boy, like last week I pumped out vlogs. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to look a mess this whole, this whole day today, every time I look at the camera. <laughs> um, and this week I feel like my energy has been so focused on um, going through the book and getting a whole bunch of like periphery things done that I think I just have to surrender and when my inspiration for editing vlogs comes back then I will do that and I'll do that well. I got together all my paperwork for my taxes today um, and made I wrote out what I need to write on my spreadsheet I try to figure that all out. I did not do well this last year. I told myself I will keep track of things better so that I don't have to just sit there and stare at a screen for so long at tax season but I, I didn't do that. Um, we'll, we'll see if this year I'm better at it but 
that's a tricky one. So I've got to input all that stuff, and I might, I might do it tonight. I don't know. I have, I have dinner in the oven. We're doing a big, giant veggie roast with a big, giant chicken. Um, and then I can use that chicken in all different meals throughout the rest of the week. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I should, I should be working on my taxes. But on the other hand, I don't know if the end of the day is the best time to do that. Um, so maybe tomorrow morning I will just get up, sit down, give Abraham a cartoon or something to watch so I can really focus and just get on it and do it. Um, because I know that that needs, that needs doing. How are your taxes filed, Biscuits? Are you like, are you super excited to go do it? I'm not getting any money back. I'm gonna have to pay a lot of money this year, I suspect, um, as I was doing my calculations. And it's just not motivating because it's just a lot of money to have to pay. And I'm so lucky that I've made enough to pay that, but like it is definitely a scramble this time of year because my Christmas time season was really slow because I was sick. I wasn't doing all my projects. Um, and so it's, it's a little stressful, but I'm trying to remind myself, you know, attitude of gratitude. Um, tax season. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work these and then I will show you dinner when it comes out because mm, I love roast chicken. I think I've been showing you my roast chickens for years now. This one I did a lime and um, smoked paprika sauce on top of um, and I'm doing a bunch of garlic because I've talked about that. We're doing a bucket load of garlic for um, our immunity because I do not want us to get sick. I just don't and probably we've already been exposed to this COVID-19, the coronavirus. Um, and all we can do is just try to fight it off as best it, because I'm sure that we've been around it. Um, and there's, there's nothing you can do, which is a little scary. So we're just gonna hunker on down. And I'm kind of debating if I wanna do some other stuff over the next month, or if I wanna wait out and see how this coronavirus is handled. Um, so I haven't decided, but it's definitely something that is really on my mind because we've just been so sick this winter. And I so worry about this now because we're just right, right smack dabby in there. Okay, work then delicious then then. My friend was gonna come over, who I haven't seen since the summer, um, but I didn't hear back from them. I think that they were working uh, regular hours instead of getting off early. So I will message them and, and check in. Maybe they can come over this weekend because I haven't gotten, I have yeah, I haven't seen them since I moved, I think. Yeah, um, so that'll be nice. I'm trying to, trying to be slightly more sociable this spring. We'll see how that goes. Oh my goodness. But we got tons of yard work done. So that is excellent because by the end of this month, there's going to be lots of yard stuff that I want to do. And I want to start planting some things. Um, this is still kind of the mild, like it's just beginning of March, right? It's not quite time for doing too much because you can't really plant veggies until May, June here. Um, but I can, I can get started. I love that. Stay away from the seed catalog, so that's one of my downfalls. Home goods, like homeware, things that for me to decorate and use in my home, like sofas and artwork, and seed catalogs are my um, my weakness in money spending, and I try to be very aware of that because I really do try to budget, and I really need to budget this spring. Um, and I'm like, okay, you don't need all these seeds. Just wait and see what you're actually gonna plant, and that's what I keep telling myself. I don't know how well that, that's gonna work, but oh well. I can't wait to have chicken. Chicken night is the best. Chicken night is the best.